Hello and welcome to Small Wars Mohican. As you can see, this tutorial will teach you about reinforcements. We are currently playing as a French, and as you see, we have here the ships of the line, the privateers, troop convoy, and supply convoys. This is how reinforcements that generally will reach the war zone here. So as you can see, we have our ship of the line, which will go ahead and place over here at Louisbourg. You may wonder about the numbers here. So, combat for naval is resolved in a D6, however, there are modifiers. For our ship of the line, it has plus three from its firepower, and then plus one from our control of Louisbourg. Now, for the privateer, you can see that the plus two, Rochefort, and then for Toulon, plus one, plus two, plus zero here. The important thing to remember here is when you are placing these units, as this is going to be how you receive your reinforcements. As you can see, the ships of the line, they bring over two European regulars from a force port to any one friendly port, and then the privateer, either five Indian units on a map to a place like a courier, that is in a friendly place in the original French Holdens, or three militia units from a force pool move to any friendly place in the original French Holdens. And for the troop convoy, a very important ship here, five European regulars from a force pool move to any one friendly port. For the supply convoy, either five Indian units as per the courier, or three militia units from a force pool move to any friendly place. So it's important, you really want to get the troop convoy through, as that's going to be the one to bring forth most of your regular forces, which are quite powerful. Uh, but of course, as the French, we choose where our ships will go. The British will then place their own ships. And as you can see here, um, we may be lucky at Louisbourg. We will see here. Ah, unfortunately not. On the D6 roll, even with the plus one, we still failed there. Uh, but overall, actually a pretty good turn there. As you can see, we were able to turn away a couple of the British ships there and get some of our own through. So the ship of the line made it through, and it's carrying a number of regular forces over here. So we essentially choose our units of where to deploy them. So we'll take these from Art uh, Artois and from Bern, and we'll have them deployed over here at Quebec, or other ports that we have control of. I'll have them deployed over here at Louisbourg, as obviously it's quite an important uh, settlement to control there. As you can see, we do have the supply convoy. Now... As you can see, we do have the indigenous forces over here across North America and Canada. Uh, these forces can be activated, as was mentioned. So what I'll go ahead and do then is select a couple over here. So we'll take forces from across uh, the continent here and have them deployed. So we'll choose to have them deployed, let's say, over here at the fort, like so. And that is essentially how your reinforcements are going to arrive. So it is quite an interesting development. You do have to be quite careful how you place your ships. As you can see over here in terms of the actual naval combat resolution, it's a great shame that the troop transport over here to Louisbourg didn't make it through. It did have a plus one, but just on the D6 roll, just didn't roll very well. Neither did the British, but again, they got what they needed. Uh, we had over here a roll of nine, so our ship on the line certainly made it through. And then two over here, it seems, and the British did make it. Over here, we didn't make it. As you can see, the British rolled higher, and then over here as well, the British didn't make it themselves, but our own ship did. And that will conclude reinforcements. Thank you, and goodbye.